Hello everybody, welcome to Maths IEC. This is GCSC Maths exam sprint series. This is a good question. I can tell you that this is connected to simultaneous equations. It's a word problem that leads to a pair of simultaneous equations. Please give this a try. When you want to check the answer, continue the video. It takes 40 minutes, this is the time, for a swimmer to go 1000 meters, this is the distance, upstream against the current the same swimmer can swim 1200 meters this is the distance downstream in 20 minutes now swimming upstream against the current is hard why because the current is moving the swimmer in the opposite direction so here's the idea this one is a slightly tricky one but a good question so let me explain the concept right here's the swimmer and here's water now the water is uh, flowing at a certain speed let's say the water is going that way let's say that speed is uh, I'm just going to take an example to explain the concept first let's say it's going at uh, three meters per second now if the swimmer can swim at five meters per second. Now, what will happen is when the swimmer is going against the stream, overall, the swimmer is actually traveling at two meters per second because the swimmer can go five upstream. The stream is going in the opposite direction, taking him three backwards. So, overall, the swimmer is going two forwards so you need to take them away now let's say if the swimmer turn around and starts uh, swimming downstream now it's the same swimmer this swimmer can now go at five meters per second like before the stream is helping now the stream is actually taking the swimmer with it so the overall situation here now is actually 5 add 3 8 meters per second now this concept is what you really need to do this question all right this is actually connected to this uh, topic called relative velocity in physics this is the idea behind this question let's discuss this question now now in this question first we need to find the speed of the swimmer uh, when this swimmer is going against the current. Now, this is pretty easy. The formula is speed is equal to distance over time. Now, the question says to use meters per minute. So, we are going to do that. Normally, it's meters per second or kilometers per hour or something like that. Uh, but the question says to go with meters per minute. So, let's do that. So, if you do 1000 meters divided by 40 minutes so obviously i can see it's 25 meters per minute now this is the overall speed when it's upstream so the overall speed here upstream is 25 meters per minute the same swimmer can swim here's the distance here's the time now let's let's find the speed again the downstream speed which will be higher so it's 1200 divided by 20. zero and zero gets cancelled out 120 divided by two so that is 60 meters per minute okay now that is the downstream speed 60 meters per minute now let's say the speed of the swimmer let's call it u so that's u that's u and the speed of the current let's call it v the speed of the current so that's v and that's v now obviously you can see here u take away v is 25 and here i can tell because these two added up to give you 60 because the current now helps the swimmer so u add v is equal to 60. now i can solve it 
opposite signs so you add them u add u to u 60 add 25 is 85 now just divide both sides by 2 2 cross them out so i know u is half of 85 which is 42.5 so this is the answer for u now i also need to find v so all i need to do is substitute in one so u minus v is 25 i know u is 42.5 minus v is 25 obviously move the v to the other side move the 25 to this side so you get 42.5 take away 25 is equal to v so i can see here clearly v is equal to 17.5 so this one is actually a really good question now let's see if we use these two numbers see if that works with the two scenarios just to double check now we know in the first situation u take away v should give you 25 so what's my u now 42.5 take away by v is 17.5 0 12 take away 7 is 5 3 take away 1 25 see that one works let's check the other one as well so v add u because when the person is going downstream the velocities are added up because the current helps the swimmer that's why it's easy to uh, swim downstream now let's see the addition if they give you 60 42.5 add 17.5 7 add 2 is 9 add 1 1 is carried 4 5 6 see you beautifully get 60 good question